Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, James Whitner, for today's PD, Developing Teachers to Improve Lesson Plans Using Technology. Let's dive right in. So today's learning objectives, students will be able to understand the importance of ed tech or educational technology and facilitate Zern lessons to assist students of any math level. So let's dive into it. What is Zern? Zern is a math-based platform that provides interactive math lessons for students and materials for teachers as well as data and analytics to track student progress over recent years. Research and experience have shown growth of students who have used Zern in elementary school and is currently being tested in middle schools as well. So let's check out the platform to see how we can actually incorporate it into your school. So to log into Zern, you will just log in with either your school email or your own personal email and it's free so anyone can log in to help either your own personal students um, at home or in your classroom. Today we will be discussing the assignments and the assessments for those assignments. So to see all of the assignments you can go over to the curriculum. Here you will be able to see where they are working on kindergarten currently and up to 8th grade. So I can navigate over to 8th grade and then from there you'll be able to see the different activities that are aligned to the Florida state standards and many of the other state standards that schools use and many states have actually already adopted Zern for their main math platform. So for example, I could click on Associations and Data and here you will be able to see different activities. Each activity is based on some real world example as I like to tell the students that can help them understand how math is incorporated and applied in the real world. So organizing data will be the first one I can click on and it'll tell the, the students their actual objectives. To organize data, describe patterns and make predictions using tables and scatter plots. Now when a student has the Zern lesson in their possession, they will see a maximum of four different assignments. The mix and match, the math chat, the tower of power, and then the bonus. The first two mix and match and math chat are your two class assignments or you could say the I do, we do where the student works to gather skills and prerequisites that can help them prepare for the lesson and then in the math chat they actually complete grade level material based upon in this case organizing data. So let's check out what those look like. In the mix and match a student would click start and then they will actually be able to go and mix and match. One whole correlates to which of the fractions and so you can click one and then click the other and then they will automatically connect to each other. Afterwards the students will be after they complete all the mix and match they will be transitioned to the math chat where here they will actually have a self-guided lesson where a teacher will actually hey talk to them and give them different prompts of questions to answer along the way. Most of the lessons range between 5 to maybe 12 minutes max and that's rare so they're pretty doable in a 30 minute setting where students can actually gather understanding and be assessed within 30 minutes. So it's really cool. After the assignment, as stated, the assessment is the Tower of Power. And that's where students 
are tasked to complete a certain number of questions in a row to fill up the meter in attempts to make it to the top and fill up the tower. And then you see how the meter continuously fills up, which boosts the kids momentum as they're actually going through it. But it also hurts them and puts them in a distraught mood when they are not so successful in which that's when I really emphasize ensuring that you do take notes which is one thing you do want to emphasize with your students to take notes in their Zern notebooks as well as their personal notebooks to ensure that they understand the lesson and the topics and the actual I guess procedures that are necessary for that lesson afterwards once they complete the tower of power if they do it in enough time they will be able to complete a bonus which will then allow them to in a sense gain extra credit and give them a boost of morale all of these reports you can check here in the reports and to assign those assignments you can actually go to the assignments click your specific class name once you do that then you'll be able to go through the curriculum and choose whichever assignment you would like to choose for yourself and for your students. A recent article from Irvin stated educational technology is important because it allows educators to assess student learning in two critical ways. Assessment of learning and assessment of an assessment for learning. So the assessment of learning it's similar to that tower of power. How well did the student understand it? How well can the student apply what I just taught them? Now the assessment for learning, was that necessary towards, you know, our standards? Was that topic really reached? And how well does that topic align to the new topic that needs to be presented? Secondly, the findings of this study revealed that student academic achievement was affected by the level of technology used by the classroom teacher. There was a higher level of technology usage reported by fifth grade teachers and the findings indicated that the academic achievement of fifth grade students was significantly higher than those of fourth grade students. This actually came from an article of other school who actually used Zern and realized and other activities as well and noticed that the teacher plays a part in this also. It's up to the teacher to be knowledgeable of educational platforms and be willing to help the students navigate through those things as well because all students are not comfortable with technology as we think they should be. So to help them navigate through this realm is a way to help motivate students to be successful as we're trying to implement ed tech into our classrooms. Thank you so much for the presentation and allow me to be your host. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.